Good morning, everybody. From the hot, hot Texas. I know you always get a weather report with me, right? Well, just tell it like it is, you know. If it's super hot, I'm gonna tell it. If it's real rainy and stormy, I'm gonna tell it. I'm like the weatherman. <laughs> well, now that the house or houses and two vacant lots are sold down at the lake unless the deal falls through, so since we got all that behind us and uh, numerous things other have just been going, going, going away from here, now I don't have to load up my tools and trailers and everything to go down to other houses to work on them. And that is such a relief. So yesterday, for the first time in a long time, I never started my truck up and left to go anywhere. I barely even went outside. I spent time inside yesterday going through like storage underneath the staircase and up in a spare room that we have that I had stuff stored in and all. Throwing stuff away, going through what is important, what's not important, and throwing stuff away. And I threw a lot of stuff away yesterday. And once again, it felt so good to not just have so much stuff just sitting, sitting, sitting and that you don't need and it just brings clutter and stress to your life. If you haven't looked at it in six months, if you hadn't looked at it in a year, you're probably never gonna look at it at all or use it if you hadn't used it in a year according to whatever it is. So I'm just saving the main, main memorabilia type stuff, you know, uh, little photos and, and memories and stuff. Um, that's, the, that's the main things, but just junk, just it's funny how things can collect up in this country it really is you can collect up a lot of stuff in this country and I noticed that the Filipinos um, they don't do that so much you know of like just holding on the things and all um, they they live more for the now not for the past and I, I kind of appreciate that sometimes I think they should be a little bit more sentimental but um, I think the sentimental of them carries more in their mind and heart and spirit than it does in relics. So, uh, you know, it works, it works. And there's some lessons out of that, and that's pretty cool. So today, if everything goes right, Mel and I are going to go ship some ballot buying boxes and get those on their way. And they will probably arrive after we're already back in the Philippines. One of the things I was gonna show that we're sending over to the house is this Ryobi weed eater down in here. And we already have the 18 volt batteries and charger there from the tools we use while we're building the house. And it'll come in handy um, trimming around there in places and all. Well, here we are dropping boxes off to head to the Philippines again. One of these days we're gonna quit doing this. <laughs> well, it's super hot out here and I need to unstrap this. Get the dolly off. <laughs> Mel and I just got those six boxes unloaded off that trailer out here in this concrete parking lot in this heat. My goodness, it is hot, man. I've had so many of you that tell me about your ballot buying box experiences and that stuff was lost and stuff was missing and all. Uh, I've never even seen where tape has ever been cut on our boxes or nothing. I've just had extremely good luck with this company. We need shirts, Mo. They say, <laughs> I survive shipping ballot buying boxes in the Texas heat. Yes. I am a survivor. We survive. It's so hot here, especially it's all concrete here. Yeah, all yeah, concrete so and man, it's just radiating up. We did it though. We did. Showed the exchange rate in there at this PNB Bank uh, remittance center and all here at 54.90 today. Mm -hmm. um, now today's date, because my videos are delayed, is July the 8th. But we sent off six boxes just then, and some of us got grocery stuff. That's more of a nicety than a, necess than a necessity. Um, Melinda sent. Um, pina, pina colada mixes no alcohol there's no alcohol just the mix for you little tattletale naysayers oh you're not supposed to put that 
Yeah. yeah. Quite a bit, yeah. yeah. But anyway, margarita, margarita mixes, and. Uh, well, you use my name. Margarita mixes and pina colas. Cause who is it? It's not me. Yeah. So the the boozer wife, you know the the boozer. Uh, <laughs> okay then. The boozer. What what is it? Spall. Rich foreigner's wife. <laughs> the crazy, the crazy rich Asian. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What they what they say? Crazy rich Asians. Yeah. We ain't rich. We're just joking. Some of y'all we might be rich, but yes. I'm telling you, we're not. We just bust our butts and work hard. But nevertheless, uh, it's just a just a joke. We yeah, we're just joking Wish only. We could. <laughs> <laughs> I just know some of y'all's comments and stuff I've heard around out there and floating on other channels. So, uh, yeah, we send over some, like that miter saw and some things like that, some tools, some cookware uh, that we're not going to need at our house. We didn't go buy new stuff. We put stuff in the box we already mostly, have. Mostly, mostly inside of that box is uh, already stuff here. And, you yeah, know, even some of those yes. pina colada mixes. We have mm -hmm. them sitting there in Texas, but we don't have nobody to enjoy sharing a pina colada with. But sitting there at the beach in the Philippines. We can use it. Yeah, we can enjoy and have people to share a pina colada with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I bought some of that, just joking. I bought some of that. I bought some uh, blueberry margarita. And uh, I'm curious how that's going to taste. You know, if y'all ever had blueberry margarita, tell me. But I just want to have something for a little fun over a little mix up, you know. Something different have besides the red horse. Yeah, yeah. Life. We don't get we don't do the sit get drunk on red horse thing. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> yeah. What, what you get drunk on red horse? Well, I don't think uh, I've ever even seen you drink a red horse. Maybe in in the past, you know. In the past. Yes, but. Uh, before I saved you. Yeah. Before the foreign husband saved and rescued <laughs> the poor Filipina girl. The present is uh, <laughs> I don't drink red horse anymore. They're so strong. I only drink wine. Or you're a wino now yes. yeah well I'm I haven't had nothing to drink since we were in the Philippines yeah so I've had nothing I've not touched even a sip of a beer since back towards the what third week of May I guess well nothing wrong with that sometimes you chill and you know just have fun and enjoy you know nothing wrong with that something drink okay so we want to eat at a Peruvian food restaurant there's one near here, but the challenge is going to be at the time we take to eat is right when Dallas is going to release the floodgates on a Friday afternoon. So what do we do? We can go home, but the thing is our belly is empty. What if we get something closer so we don't get stuck for hours in traffic? Except that it don't matter, you know. Just uh, get It's going to be a tough one. Time. Man, okay. we, they're doing so much construction on the roads between here and there too and Friday afternoon traffic holy cow yeah that's the tough part yeah so we are here gonna get some Peruvian food excited for that we haven't ate since yesterday got some ceviche what's that face why was it hot is it spicy Mm -hmm. What was that face? Just try it so that you know. So that I'll know. Uh, that was a heck of a face you made, so I'm really curious now. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether to believe you. <laughs> Now I know what that reaction was. That stuff is hot right there, and she wanted me to get my mouth burnt like she got hers burned. <laughs> Ooh, man. I put even just a tiny bit. Boy, did it light my mouth up. Ooh. That yam's pretty good. Mm. Like this toasted uh, corn.
Did you guard the house, Blackjack? Huh? Did you guard the house for us? You're such a good boy. Blackjack's such a good boy. We're going to see if, if it's possible or not to bring him to the Philippines because we just can't leave our son behind. Well, we just got back from a bike ride. Six mile ride today. Mike went with us. He did 6.17 because he rode just a little bit more than us, circling back, waiting for our slow asses. <laughs> uh, it's a good ride though. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. We we did uh, Mel and I go walk and we'll do some short bicycle riding and uh, we're trying to increase up our walks longer and our bike riding longer. So tomorrow's walk day again and then, and then Sunday it's going to be bike day again and we want to at least add maybe a mile onto that maybe two miles onto that we'll see actually I'm the one that pushed y'all I was going to stop on what it maybe like four and a half miles or something or four miles I was going to stop and them go on because we went back by our house but then uh I come flying by them yeah. <laughs> and then I'm the one that ended up pushing them to go further. <laughs> yeah. I said, let's just keep on going, keep on going. So it was, it was fun. It was fun riding with Mike, too. That's why he went and bought a bike so we could all ride together. And, uh, it's man, fun, it's, it's enjoyable. Yeah. So I want to give a shout-out here to somebody. And that is Justin Carmack. And Justin is the one that has the vlog that does the diving and all down in Darwin there in the Philippines. The critter which, hunter. Critter hunter, that's right. As many of you that have ever seen Critter Hunter's uh, vlog, he's he's extremely overweight, he's extremely obese, and this isn't something I'm trying to insult him or anything like that. This is something he's aware of. And you know, uh, he's an amazing person because with the weight and everything he has on him, he's still out there diving constantly, doing yes. deep dives. He doesn't let nothing stop him, but of course he has a weight issue and he's he's wanting to do something about it. So right now he started a second channel and he's trying to shame himself and embarrass himself some and all into losing weight. And I'm asking any of you, give him support. So Justin, today my bike ride was dedicated to you and my next walk and my next ride is dedicated to you. I'm tired so I'm out of breath here. But this is... Uh, Justin right here you can see him right here and he's going through trying to lose down weight he's doing very many different things I want you to watch his channel and see what all he's doing things he's doing even the shame and embarrass himself into losing this weight and uh, y'all support him out there you know comment on his channel let him know that you support him go to his channel watch some of his videos and comment and say hey we support you Help them. Absolutely. Well, I didn't have much video today. I probably should have done the bike ride, but uh, <laughs> I, I need to focus and just pump, 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 pump. So, nevertheless, yeah. I appreciate all of you out there. Yes, and thank uh, you for all your support. And you guys absolutely. Just seeing these crazy people trying to make it through the world, <laughs> trying to navigate through the sharks. For the good <laughs> Everybody. Take care. Justin, keep it up, man. We'll see you soon in the Philippines. Everybody, God bless.